In the fight against cancer, every battle counts. That's right, and a new weapon in the fight can save lives. Tonight in For Your Health, Ellie Merritt takes us inside a new procedure. You may have never heard of this cancer treatment, but it is already saving lives here in Columbus. It's called transarterial chemoembolization. Think of it as little beads delivering cancer-killing drugs where doctors weren't able to go before. Industrial designer Linda Gable got a big wake-up call one day in the ER. And they found a tumor on my liver that had exploded. And she was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. This is normal liver. This is all tumor. And doctors chose a procedure called transarterial chemoembolization. They went after her liver tumor with chemo beads. <laughs> We sat in as Dr. Brian Scherf performed the procedure at Riverside Methodist Hospital. They're hard to see, but in this vial are tiny beads. Dr. Scherf mixes these beads with chemotherapy drugs and then injects them into the artery feeding the tumor. So we tend to get a very high concentration of the beads and the chemotherapy in the tumor and not necessarily within the normal liver. Those beads sit in the tumor and leach out, delivering the drug straight to the tumor. And over time, the tumor dies. An aggressive yet minimally invasive approach for Linda. We're very happy with the results she's had. Uh, the MRI she had in follow-up shows no residual enhancement at all. The rest of her liver is spared and the area around the tumor and where the tumor is is, is dead. Not many people have heard of chemo beads, but they're gaining steam. And the big perk for patients is they often have fewer side effects. It was huge because I didn't have hair loss. Um, I still have the tiredness, and I still do, um, and some of the other symptoms, but I'm able to work. I came back to work within, you know, five days, which is terrific. Isn't it? Bottom line, these beads are soaked in the chemotherapy drugs, so they attack the tumor rather than the entire body. Wow. So there are fewer side effects for patients, mostly it's being yeah, used right now mostly for kidney and liver cancers. But that is the big thing here is that patients have those fewer side right. effects. It's easy, it's less invasive and it moves from the inside out, which is an interesting way to attack a tumor. Prognosis good? For Linda, she yeah. is now just taking um, suppression drugs and doing very well. Wow, good, good for yeah. her. All right, thanks, Ellie. Interesting, sure. thanks.